Let us now take another model from ages which is based on the concept of averages and ratio. The question here is after 5 years the average age of a daughter and her mother will become 29.5 years. If today the ratio of their ages is 2 is to 5 what is the present age of daughter? So we are being given the average age of the daughter and mother after 5 years that is 29.5 and the present ages are in the ratio 2 is to 5. So from this information we are supposed to find out the present age of daughter. Let us assume that the present age of daughter is D and the present age of mother is M. So as given in the question the ratio of their present ages is 2 is to 5. So we can say that daughter is to mother is equals to 2 is to 5. Now after 5 years the average age of the daughter and mother will become 29.5 years. If the present ages are D and M, after 5 years daughter's age will be D plus 5 and mother's age will be M plus 5. Now if you can observe, both daughter's age and mother's age have increased by 5 years. And from the concept of averages, we know that whenever each of the elements increases by 5, the average also increases by 5. That means when daughter's age and mother's age have increased by 5, the average has become 29.5. So very clearly this average is 5 years more than the present average. So we can say that the present average that is D plus M by 2 should be equal to 29.5 minus 5 years. Let us try to understand this once again. See the question says after 5 years the average age is 29.5. The present ages are D and M. So after 5 years D will be D plus 5 and M will be M plus 5. That means both the values are increasing by 5. And we know that when both the values increase by 5, average will also increase by 5. So this 29.5 is an increased value. It is an increased average which has increased by 5 years. So to get the present average, we should subtract 5. And that present average is nothing but D plus M by 2. So from this we can say that D plus M by 2 will be 24.5 or the total of their ages D plus M is 24.5 into 2 49. So we know the sum of their ages and we also know the ratio. Let us now see what will be the present age of daughter. We know that when the ratio is 2 is to 5 daughter's age can be taken as 2 parts out of total 2 plus 5 7 parts multiplied by the present age. So 2 by 7 into 49 will be equal to 2 into 7, 14 years. So we can say that the present age of daughter should be 14 years. One more point which you can observe here is since the present ages are in the ratio of 2 is to 5, the present age of daughter should be a multiple of 2. And option 2 is not a multiple of 2. Even option 3 is not a multiple of 2. So the answer can be either option 4 or option 5. And with the help of the second condition, we can verify that option 4 is the correct answer. So from this we can understand that most of the questions from ages can be solved simply by eliminating the options. That's all from ages. See you in the next session. Thank you.